they come in knowing about this. A lot of them do. And, and hey, I'm going to be the next guy. I mean, we've even had students stand up on the first day in the classroom. Slim got tossed around for number one all around, and you know everyone's starting to chirp about it. And it was all just kind of exciting because everyone wants that spot. Hey, I'm Joe Smith. I'm from Kentucky, and I'm going to be the next Slim winner. Well, them are tough words to eat if you don't back that up. The electrical line worker program here at SLTC is highly competitive. Every class, there is one student who will hold the title of SLIM. That student must be the best overall and must be able to stay ahead of the pack. With each student gunning for the top spot, this competition is about who can push themselves to be the best they can be. We will see just how far these individuals will go to be the best. The SLIM Award is our most outstanding award. It's awarded to the best overall student in every class. Um, how we come about that is each PC has their own awards that they give out and they have their uh, best all around for each pole circle group. And we take the top one, the best all around out of each pole circle group, have a small competition, different things, rodeo style competitions, um, you know, stuff they'll do on a daily basis that's work based. Uh, and then score that and see who is the best of the best. You all know why y'all are here, right? Yes, no? Kind of? All right, well, congratulations again. Y'all's PC has picked and your instructors has picked y'all to be best all around. So we're going to start the competition today. All right, so we got 18 of y'all here for this, and we got to figure a winner for the top 18. So at graduation, all y'all will be on stage for all the slim candidates. And then each one of you gotta have about a three minute little speech, just a couple, you know, a couple of sentences just to say something. <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> I'll just play it take too long, right? So we're gonna to do two events today. All right. And again, this is up to y'all. This is a competition, so y'all can talk about it. You can do whatever you want to do. You can help each other out. It's Again, it's up to y'all, though. It's a competition, so um, y'all will stay in here, and we're going to do this tomorrow, too. Everything is time, but score trumps time, okay? So we want you doing it right in a timely manner, but the score is going to be the most important thing, and that's for every event out here. There's going to be stuff on this test you're not going to know. There's going to be stuff that you are going to know. And everything we have dealt with, you have dealt with here, either you paid attention or not, is up to you. If you get 100, you're the man. I'm going to tell you right now. Okay? So it's, it is going to be hard. There's going to be questions you do not know. My suggestion is go through the test, know what you know, answer it, and then go back and think about it. If you can't think of it, then don't do it. Um, don't start. Don't look through it until we say go. And then... Once you get done, again, raise your hand and just go back in the back room, and then we will start the next exercise one at a time. And we'll just call you out. It don't matter whoever it is. All right? Any questions? Obviously, you know, we're taking the top of each PC, each pole circle, and you want to challenge them because you now have, you know, supposedly the best individual out of this group of 20 and the best individual out of this group of 20. So he or she has made some of the everyday tasks look simple. 
they should be naturals in some of the aspects or quick learners, um, coachable, teachable. And now you've got a competition of the best of the best. So you do have to kind of throw a little bit more at them and make it tougher than, you know, what already rigorous program they're going through. So yeah, we have to stretch them. You come in already thinking you've got this in the bag, you're usually not the guy. It's it's the one that's got the quiet, driven attitude to always perform his best. Slim's gonna be the best all around. You know, you gotta have the the best work ethic. You gotta be good in the classroom. You gotta be good on all aspects of, of this line of work. When I was growing up, my dad told me, he's like, no matter what you do, you be the best at what you do. He's like, I don't care if you're getting paid $2 an hour to dig a ditch, you'd be the best $2 an hour ditch digger there is. And it's that guy. That's the guy that usually takes it home. I didn't come from any crazy extravagant background. I'm just a normal guy who runs a shovel for a living, you know what I mean? The supposed best of the best of the class. Um, it's nerve wracking. Don't know what to expect. I want to do the best for my guys. I, uh, I know they kind of put me in this position, so I want to represent them the best I can. I don't know what we're doing next, so hopefully it's something that I'm good at. Time stops when all the stations have been attempted by the student when you say done. If you leave me to my own device, I never have to compromise. The city is like a jungle, I gotta make it mine. Put my fears right out of sight. Beat the hustle, better get it right In a game where the strong survive Only the strong survive Your chains will not hold me down The break can fall to the ground Can tame these lions inside The power is raining like Thunder ready for a fight These lions inside These lions In 1932, William Wister Haynes had been a lineman for a number of years. During that time, he wrote a book called Slim. In this story, Slim tells about a man who is passionately dedicated to his work, a man who sets the highest examples possible, and a man who sets the highest standards of performance. It is a universal story of a man who comes from humble beginnings but displays outstanding character. We enjoy watching his passion, his dedication, and his determination. His loyalty to his friends, his courage, and his willingness to never back down, and his desire to learn inspires us all to be better people, better employees, and better citizens. The story of Slim represents the best, and that is why this award is named after William Wister Haynes. At SLTC, we strive to create this type of line worker, someone who is dedicated, men and women who you can count on no matter what, just like Slim. The recipient of this award displays the same strength of character Linemen must know electricity, must know how to climb, be responsible for each other on the job, be responsible for getting the power back up. A lot of weather conditions, 16 hours a day, sometimes far from home, and be versed in every type of emergency situation and have one objective, just to keep America's lights on. The reason we named this very special award after William Worcester Haynes is because as we look at this man 80 years later, we discover he epitomizes what every lineman should strive to be today. The individual with the best score would be our most outstanding winner. There is no doubt each one of these 16 individuals is worthy of this award, but tonight there is only one winner of the William Wister Haynes Slim Award for Class 68, and it is Garrett Bennett, PC7.
PC-10, Blake Rose. PC-1, Dominic Craven. Daniel Dunn, PC-11. So, like I said, I'm working at this supposed to be temporary job, but it's lasting me quite a few years now. But uh, during the, during that time, I'm trying to apply for local companies, co-ops, municipalities. Just trying to get my foot in the door. Started at any position, I didn't really care. You know, that's what I want to do. I'm willing to work my way up. Got to do something with it. Like I said, I've heard a lot of people talking about the school, so I started looking it up. I was pretty interested in it. it. Sounded like a great program. I started digging into it. I was asking people about it. Everyone's giving good reviews. People are coming back home from school. They're going straight to work. That's what I need. During that time, COVID hit, you know, that big mess. I was trying to get my paperwork in order. I already made my deposits. I thought I was ready to come down here. I was missing my social security card. State offices weren't open. Had to wait a whole nother year to get my social security card in the mail. Finally made it through that, another year of my temporary job. Finally got the email that it's on its way. Finally got it in the mail. That day I sent it to the office. They said, all right, you're in January's class. And I was like, so thrilled that I'm finally getting somewhere with this. <laughs> there was a couple times I was like, I don't know if Maybe it's a sign I'm not supposed to do this, I don't know. But I was like, no, can't be. This is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to do. I just got to keep pushing through it and make something work. And things came together. I got my paperwork in order. Let's roll with it. You know, just because you saw it on YouTube or your buddy came or whatever doesn't mean you can do this. Um, you know, people show up all the time. Well, I worked on roofs or I, you know, I climb in deer stands. Um, it's different. It takes a it takes a different individual, a driven individual, um, somebody who's not scared to learn, somebody who's not scared to sweat. After the first five weeks, shins are bleeding every day. You know, you got to bandage them up. You got to take care of that after you get home from school. We tell them even in just your everyday work, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna form some friendships and a brotherhood while you're here. We work together as a team. We're all trying to help each other out. Oh, I. I got some icy hot at the house, you know, we'll get each other fixed up and we got ibuprofen on the, you know, on standby, we've got it in the trucks, we got it at home, do whatever we can to keep each other upright. And Also, you're here for you, you want to be better than the next guy, um, and that's just in the competition for the jobs out there, let alone the, the competition of, you know, who's the top dog. I wasn't really worried about focusing on Slim or anything like that, they saw it in me. So they pushed me. They're like, "Hey, man, keep it up. We're doing our we're doing our competencies." And they're like, "Man, if you just push a little faster, you're gonna get you're gonna get the best score. You know, you're gonna get the best time." Yeah, at that point, it was kind of fun to you know get into the competition a little bit, but I wasn't really focused on it. These guys are these guys are relying on me to be their guy for the the competition. So I was like, "Well, I guess I can step up my game a little bit, and we'll really really start pushing towards it." Our SLIM award goes to the best of the best. The 17 individuals recognized tonight as the best all around are nominees for this award. Can you join us up on stage, please? So first off, either by your instructor or your PC, you're voted best all around in your group. And then after that, we have a small competition that involves taking a test. Um, it also includes their final GPA of, you know, throughout the school as well as their final exam grade. Um, and then a competition of different events, outside events that we do. And they're scored based on that process. Points being the number one category. Time coming in there for a time bonus because it is also, you know, about being the best, but also can you do it correctly and quickly, right? So all that's tallied up, the individual with the best score would become our most outstanding winner, our Slim, Wish, Slim Haynes Ward winner. So there's no doubt each one of these 17 individuals is worthy of this award. 
But tonight there is only one winner of the William Wister Haynes Slim Award for Class 70, and it is... Bruce Stone, PC7. Look at me now. So that crowd. Just to kind of touch on some of that, it says from week one, Bruce has set himself apart from the other students. Throughout the 15 week program, he's maintained a very strong work ethic. He is always excited to learn new skills and is willing to take the time to help his fellow students learn. His attitude and leadership in the field and in the classroom created a great work environment in our PC and helped all the students excel beyond their potential. Intelligent, confident, and hardworking, he has all of these characteristics of Slim. And that's just a little something that was in the book to read personally for you. Congratulations. It really did mean a lot. I worked really hard to get to that point. I'm coming down here to do the school so I can get a, a job that I want to work. I want to work this career for the rest of my life. And then I had the opportunity to be in a competition for it. It was, it was exciting, the whole process of the whole thing. And then winning that competition, it was just, it was crazy feeling, you know? It was not, nothing I've ever experienced before. They're the top of their individual group or that individual slim winner is the top of his entire class. Um, but you still know nothing uh, when it comes to the actual everyday work. So you get out there, you know, you were a big fish in a small pond here at SLTC and now you're just normal fish in a gigantic ocean uh, when you get out doing line work. But the confidence that they gained from, you know, the competitions they had here and how they kind of rose to the top uh, makes them kind of hit the ground running. So that's the yes side of it. They, they know that they have a lot to offer, but they also know they have a lot to learn. It's taken a lot of drive and a lot of effort to get to this point. It's not like you're just gonna walk up off the streets, try it out. A lot of people do, they don't like it. If this is something that you really wanna do, then you really gotta put the effort in towards it.